Now see, every entrepreneur needs to have a mentor or even in your life when you're working or let's say when you are deciding on your career or maybe deciding on your life as such, it is always beneficial to have a mentor. So let's understand mentorship when it comes to business. See, first let's understand what is mentorship. Mentorship is nothing but developing or a developmental partnership through which one person will come and share his knowledge, his skills, his information and the perspective he has to foster personal and professional growth of someone else. So tomorrow there would be a person who would come, let's say a senior person who has been into the industry and has the knowledge, let's say I'm a finance person. Okay, so he will come and help me understand the industry as such. He will help me and mentor by guiding me, sharing his perspective, sharing his knowledge and skills. So that's what mentorship is all about. How will it benefit me? It will benefit me because it will help me in growing either professionally or personally. Okay, so here this is what is happening. One person is helping another person to achieve something. Now remember this is very powerful tool and hence I would request that everyone should have a mentor or try to find a mentor in your life because it will help in your personal development and also it would help in as an empowerment tool. Now if I have to define a mentor, he is a friend, a philosopher, a guide, coach, teacher, advisor, instructor, counselor or a guru. Okay, so these all terms can be used interchangeably with a mentor. So he is a person who can be your friend, who can be a philosopher, who would be a guide or a coach. So these all are the terms which we use for a mentor. Okay, remember he is a trusted guide, a trusted advisor, okay, an intellectual person, someone who has the capability of using his mind in a creative manner, especially in occupational settings. Now, what does a mentor does? Let's understand that. See, he will teach the mentee. That is, in my example, if I go and find a mentor, so I am the mentee out here, so he will come and teach me about a specific issue. Okay, so let's say if I want to learn more about starting my own business, so he will come and teach me about that. He will coach me on a particular skill. If I'm looking out for some particular skill or let's say in onto, being an entrepreneur, you require so many skills. And let's say I want to learn on the skill of negotiating with people. So he would be a person who would help me to develop that particular skill. He will facilitate the growth by sharing the resources and networks. So in case it's not that he would be teaching you each and every skill. Let's say tomorrow if you want to learn a particular skill, he would have his resources or network through which you can learn. He would challenge the mentee to move beyond his comfort zone. Remember, mentor is a person who will keep on pushing you. He will always ask you to come out of your comfort zone because then only success would be possible. He would create a safe learning environment for taking risk. He would focus on the total development of the mentee. Remember, even if it is, if he is mentoring you only in professional way or only for your professional life, still he will ensure that overall you are developed as a person. Now let's come to the term business mentor. Who is this business mentor? He is a person who has the experience of successfully setting up and running a business. Like I gave you an example, I go to an industry expert who has the experience of setting up the business. So then he would become my business mentor. So he would be a well established person having the capability and the willingness to offer advice, support and guidance to new entrepreneurs. So a business mentor is a person who has the knowledge and is willing to share the knowledge, the skills with you so that you can develop in terms of your business or maybe in terms of your professional and personal life. Now, remember he is a person who will give you advice. So the person who is giving you the advice is known as the mentor and the person who is receiving the advice is known as mentee. 
Now remember it is important for the mentee to develop a relationship with the mentor by meeting and communicating consistently, regularly and con in confidence. It shouldn't happen. You recognized a person as your mentor. You asked him to be your mentor. He agreed to it. You had your first meeting and after that you just forgot about it and you're not communicating with him. That's wrong. If you want him to be a successful mentor, you have to keep on communicating with him. Okay. Now, rendering of mentoring services. When a mentor is rendering these services, it will exhibit certain features. What are those? First, it will take place outside of a line of management or a manager-employee relationship. So whenever this mentorship happens, it would be outside that manager-employee relationship. Okay, it would be at a mutual consent between the two parties. Okay, now remember this would be career focused or it would focus on the professional development that may be outside the mentee's area of work. Let's say like when I'm told you I want to become an entrepreneur. So right now I'm not an entrepreneur, but still I want to go into that particular line. So here the professional development which I'm seeking would be addressed by my mentor and he would help me to go to it. Now, here the relationship is personal. A mentor provides both professional and personal support. The relationship is initiated by mentor through a match initiated by organization. Now, what I'm talking about here is generally in your organization also it becomes very important that each of your employee has been given this mentorship. Okay, he has a mentor through which he can see how the development can happen. So in such a scenario, generally the match is initiated by the organization wherein people are asked who wants a mentor or maybe they are recognized, okay, these are the people who require a mentor and then they are matched with a person who can give them that particular service on a good basis. See, generally what happens when you're choosing a mentor, you have to be careful enough that you understand what he's talking about. You have a kind of relationship with him, a comfort relationship. So organization will have to see all these parameters. The relationship here would cross the job boundaries. See, um, let's say I'm working in a finance department. Okay. And I want to become the CEO of the company. That's my view. So maybe I would be given a mentor who would be a VP marketing. Let's take an example. So here, whenever I'm talking about mentorship, it will always cross those job boundaries. It would be more of because he must have be having some experience or he has the knowledge to help me reach that level. So in that scenario, he has been matched with me by the organization. Now remember when it comes to mentorship, it could be for a specific time period or it could be forever. So when it comes to formal program and organization have these formal programs, generally it is for a specific time period. Okay. When it comes to informal mentoring relationship, then it might continue beyond one year. Okay. Now let's see what are the types of mentorship. See the mode of construction that is in the way in which the mentorship is structured is important. Okay, when I'm talking about mode of delivering, it is the manner in which the mentorship is rendered. Now, so this is the construction mode which I explained you. This is the delivering mode. When it comes to construction mode, you have the formal, you have the informal mode. Under formal, you have traditional and special project. As the name suggests, special project would only be mentoring for a particular project which has been given to you by the organization. Now, when it comes to delivering mode, it's one-to-one -one mentoring, wherein you meet your mentor, he guides you, he advises you. So that's one-to-one -one meeting, which we call, it could be online. So you have a mentor wherein you have access to him either through Skype or through any online way of communicating and you generally communicate with him in that manner. It could be group man mentoring. So there would be seven, eight people, let's say for example, who would be mentored by only one person. So that would be a group mentoring. It could be also peer mentorship, wherein the peers are mentoring, that is your colleague would be mentoring you based on your 
requirements and aspirations.